guys. Welcome back to Two Girls, One Bong. The podcast that's better when you're stoned, but it's okay if you're not. My name is Mac Dizzle, and I'm going to literally I'm... punch Joya in the teeth. <laughs> Joya. <laughs> Those big, stupid white teeth. <laughs> Annoying. I hope you're watching right now. For the people that are only listening, I am sorry you're missing out. But thanks for coming. Yeah, we still respect you. <laughs> yeah, right. And we love you. Thanks. Right. <laughs> so much. Come watch on the way too. <laughs> um, anyways, a happy merry uh post Christmas episode. I we I realized we um yeah. we were like not recording. We didn't really think about when the recordings were gonna be coming out. And so we didn't even yeah. have like anything holiday themed or like anything like that. And that's okay. Maybe next year. Yeah. Maybe. Next year maybe we'll maybe be we'll more do prepared, something. but probably yeah. not. Probably not. <laughs> Christmas is dead. I actually had a really good Christmas this year. Um, Joya did not have a great one, which is okay. Christmas was okay for me. It just wasn't as great as it has been in past years. Things are just changing, you know? Yeah. That's, yeah that's a part maybe we'll get into that sometime on the podcast for real because i do feel comfortable talking about my actual real life issues on here but not today not fucking today so. all right well <laughs> you can still hear me from here uh, right but i hope all of you guys had a wonderful christmas if you're celebrating or if you celebrated Gage. Can oh, you hear me? Yes. Is it very quiet? Yes, I can. You were red. No, no. It's no. Can you hear me though? But Your vo- the volume. You no. Know, yeah, I can hear. I can right. hear you perfectly. Uh, that's all but the it was red. Mm. It, it was red a second ago, but it's going back and forth between red and green. Gorgeous. <laughs> it's giving me I red. Know. <laughs> it's Pause giving me green. Dev. So. Pause real quick, Dev. I hate that we have to rely so heavily on Wi-Fi for literally everything, but no, literally, I hate the fact that you live in fucking Texas. That's like the least cute thing that you've done. Hey, but guess what? What? I am going to sign the papers on my house tomorrow, and then it is literally mine. I'm still annoyed with you. That doesn't change my annoyance. That just means you're more locked into Texas. <laughs> like you're digging your heels in. You whore. but congrats whatever congrats or whatever joy i bought a house guys congrats or whatever yay and it's like actually mine now <laughs> yeah. you fucking whore bitch you it wasn't all the way mine you before. i gave you your accolades yes i'm actually you know um very well then maybe you. you should just go buy some land in california maybe somewhere maybe. and i'll come live with you will you on a compound in a con would you here's the thing cheap land there's not gonna be like running water I'm gonna, we're going to have to install that. We're going to have to make that happen for ourselves. We're going to have to dig a well. It costs like a billion dollars. No. No, a well is like five grand. It, it, it costs some, but, some muscle. All right. Yes. Let's get some men involved. But also. Adam will build us a well. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look Imagine. up a couple YouTube videos. We got this covered. <laughs> oh Let's see Rajul and Adam building that. us a well. Perfect. Oh, my God. Honestly, I would literally pay great that's like a fucking pay-per-view yeah no bury uh, that two men who one lived in well. the city their entire lives yeah two <laughs> men one well <laughs> no but even if we had a well then we still would have to use the well for all of our water needs like we would have to take like baths and then like a zombie apocalypse happens and a zombie falls in the well our entire water supply is tainted exactly we're fucked you have to think about those things you do you definitely have to <laughs> Running, running water. I feel like wouldn't be, you know. No, that, that is a major thing for me. I it just costs a lot water. of money. I had my water. No, no, no. I wasn't saying that I would be able to live without it. I was oh, saying okay. it wouldn't be that bad to figure out to do it. I was concerned. To pay for, for a someone minute. to do it. I said no. Running water is very yeah. important, Joya. <sighs> How are you going to wash That's your not ass? Like, are we literally going to share the bath water like they did? Like, <laughs> yeah. In the fucking- Whoever gets the last bath just basically just stinks. And you know what? That would be almost like in my family, like with there being seven of us and there's five older than me, I would be six Oof. out of seven with the bath water. Do you think water. they would like, you know, they rotate it each time? 
not in my family. There's that seems a serious fair. totem pole. Oh, it does seem fair. It does seem fair to do it like that, but yeah, you know, like everybody gets a chance to be the first bath. Yeah, I don't know that that would happen in my. Oh, see, no, I would start fighting people. I can see th- that for you. Do you think you could beat up any of your sisters? My sister, yeah. You're like that's not- what I said. Like maybe not your brothers, but you could at least get, fight your way up the line a little bit. I think I could beat up my sister, but I don't know. She's she has a know. mental hold over you because I she's think older. your sister would give you a run for your money too. No, she's a pussy. <laughs> she's a fucking pussy. She might be bigger than me, but she's a fucking pussy. The girl has no violence. That's probably in her how heart. my sister looks at me. That's exactly how I'm sure. <laughs> She's like, she yeah. might be bigger than me, but she's a fucking pussy. Yeah, no, she, she has no right. violence in her heart, though. Like, yeah. she's never been in anything remotely yeah. close to a scrap. Like, she has no idea the absolute fury that I would bring with That's my exactly 1,000% what my sister would say about me. 100%. <laughs> but I remember her telling me, like, you've never been punched in the face. Like, there's nothing quite like being punched in the face there like isn't. you literally like you get hit in the face and you you, uh, you, you are humbled hard, you in have... a way that exactly never been humbled before That's a... <laughs> <laughs> getting punched in the face will really you're on your high knock you right off your high horse <laughs> knock you right off of it uh, yeah. <sighs> great times getting punched yeah. in the face <laughs> Anyway, speaking of the the topic of the podcast, we're getting talking about punching people in the face. Yeah, that's the topic the for the whole, day. The whole the whole podcast for one hour, we're going to talk about punching people in the face. <laughs> Imagine, which I also have never really done before. Uh, what were you going to say? What were you whispering? I, I said, "Imagine." I just lean forward, and it happens to be really close oh. to the mic when I do that. Oh. Do you like my new chair? so cute yes i do a pink gaming chair it It has a foot rest oh that's really my knees i'm i'm foot resting right now i'm big chilling i'm leaning i'm gonna actually matter of fact oh man i'm gonna recline a little bit oh that's amazing a little bit (laughs) dude the foot rest thing though huge game changer i have a stool Uh my friend gave me like a stool that sits underneath my desk, so I have my feet up on a little stool right now. That's gorgeous. And it makes a big difference. That's gorgeous. To have somebody to put your feet on. Yes. Very that. Yes. Yes, guys. Yes. 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 Uh, I'm going to so, pour my water into my mug so I feel a little bit more, like, cool. Oh, okay. She's oh so... Look at how cozy I am. Just cool. Yeah, look at her. If you guys aren't watching on the Weed Tube right now, I just you're missing an oh, excellent mug. Hey, there's no dog person stuff like that. I feel like it's all like cat people stuff, and so that's really cool. Really, I feel, I feel like, like there's, there's a, a ton- million bajillion mugs that say cat yeah. mom. Well, cat or people cat need parent. their gear because you know cat people are just a different type of breed. They want people hey. to know that they're cat people. They're like vegans. <sighs> As if we didn't, we don't already know that they're cat people. Oh I feel like I can tell by looking at a person. <laughs> Our producer Dev just said, "LOL, me." <laughs> <laughs> she needs people to know that she's a cat person. <laughs> <laughs> what are you smoking on there, Mac Dizzle? It's a mystery steezy strain. They gave me a bouquet for my birthday. Of oh, like it's a mystery. roses, yeah, and it had like just fronds of weed in it. <coughs> um, I oh love that God, for you, strain. but it's good. Good, it's really good. Whew. Um, but our topic for today is advice. We're gonna be giving out some advice. We both put out the the bat signal on our Instagrams, shot it into the sky. Yeah, to yeah, let people know. Um ask us questions yeah (laughs) (laughs) to let people know i was live streaming before this obviously i told you that Um, yeah and i was smoking the whole time so kind of high right now i'm just like a little bit lit 
period sister period i'll catch up to you <laughs> <coughs> well shit <coughs> okay <coughs> should we take our little yeah let's take a little break, break and then because we had a two minute before this too so yes, let's take our, our little break and then we'll be right back we'll be right back I'll cheers be back. we're back we're fucking back. We are back. The shadow All band right. that I'm on is like not even funny. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh I've never related to something so hard before. I give up on Instagram entirely. I'm clocking out of it. It's so hard for me to I'm only uploading sponsored shit on there. I'm over it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't my heart is not in it anymore. Yeah. I know. All right, um, let's uh, let's get into these questions. I but we want to like volley back and forth. Yeah. All right. Let me see. Somebody says, "How do you put yourself out there for dating without catching some weirdos?" Oh, you're gonna catch some weirdos. You, it's inevitable. Yeah, there's no way around that. Mm, yes. And so that's just one of the trials and tribulations of dating. And of <laughs> existing in this world because yes. I feel like I come across people that are weird and make me uncomfortable. And like, there's no getting around that in general. But especially when you're trying to, yes. yeah, find somebody to fuck. Or, or like you just like spend time with intimately, yes, right? you know, totally, like, like it, it's you have to dude, be very particular. Yes, I <laughs> I was actually so surprised to like I feel like meeting people because there's just people out there that are just weird as fuck, yeah. and I think like for some reason, like I knew there's bad people. Obviously, there's bad things that happen and whatever. I just don't think I really realized how fucking weird some people. are. Bro, no, like just wired differently. Yes. So like, that's not. so hard, though. I would think if there's anything that you could do, you would just have to like seriously sift through people. But there's nothing. But that you the, can do. the main question is, how do you put yourself out there? We were basically just saying like the, the weirdos are inevitable. Yeah. How do you put yourself out there? Uh, I. What do you do now? Apps. I yeah, feel, I feel like what is what is the alternative? You like COVID, you can't go out and really like meet people. People aren't like talking and hanging out in groups like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. So like, I guess unless there's like a particular activity that you do that's very social, like if you go to like festivals or like things like that, like you could possibly meet somebody there. Yeah, even Adam but and I were talking about like what can we do like here in Austin to like meet people meet people like there's literally nothing i don't want to going out to the bars and whatever you, I that's not real friendships that you're i don't yes it's like, like exact, drunk little encounters exactly and yeah. even there's been people where we like met them like there was this one couple that we met at a restaurant that we really liked and we were hanging out having so much fun hanging out with them and then after we left we were like like I'm over it. Yeah, like we just wasn't. <laughs> yeah, like it's hard to like really make meaningful relationships with people. So yeah. I don't know how. I think putting yourself out there, the apps is the only way that I could think of. Literally, like yeah, but you also have to be very safe with those. Mm -hmm. Like the safeyana, extremely safeyana, but the most safeyana. I used to like honestly this isn't this is illegal but I used to bring my guns with me on my first dates. I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> I was like I was like I'm not. I want a little one like you have not little meaning it won't fucking murder it's still someone a who's nine, a, baby. Exactly, it's still but it's like nine. very compact. Yeah, I like that. It's like it's like this big. It's, it's like small. my iPhone. It's just a little bit bigger than my iPhone. Yeah, and how it many... slid right into my little pouch. Oh, how many um bullets does your magazine hold? Like I have five an or seven? One? No. Oh, you do have holds... an extended one. It has holds nine. Okay. Yeah. Holds nine. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> um, but I'm happy to hear that you were doing that. <laughs> Anybody yeah, else? But I would, I would say like apps probably. Yeah, that's my only recommendation. I think so too. Um. Or like be open to like if the or like you just have to have a like an approachable attitude. I don't have one of those and I I don't know how to have one of those. Um I missed like the, I, just, I missed what you were talking about. You said I don't know how to I don't have one and I Oh. What was oh, that? Oh, an approachable you need to have like an approachable oh. attitude if you're mm. like trying to meet people in public. Yes. You definitely do. Because that's like if you don't yeah. feel, like seem approachable, men are not going to approach you. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Or well, I mean, if they do, like they're it's, they, it might they're, be weird ones approaching you because they they're like I exactly because <laughs> they're not reading the fucking yeah situation. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, my approachable energy is dwindling. I do have some, but it is <laughs> dwindling. Yeah. Um. Okay. All right. I, you pull up one. I, this is a funny one, kind of. Okay. Um, would you, would you let your man have sex with another woman once a year no. with rules in place? No. I don't need, you don't even need to ask the rest of the question. Like, would you let him <laughs> have sex with another woman? No. I don't care what the stipulations are before, after. No. <laughs> no. Like, no, if that works for you guys, way. sure. But, like, do you get to and, fuck somebody else once a year, too? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Or does the does the the girlfriend get to what, bang do somebody, Do you want too? to? Is that something you want to do? Because, like, if it's only one person who wants to fuck another person once a year, like, that seems very one-sided and yep. unfair. Mm -hmm. And, like, you're not on the same page. And he can find somebody who is on that page and wants to have something, not necessarily poly, but... That's a certain level of open. Yeah. Once a year. Like, that's like the, a literal hall pass. One time per year. Like, yeah, no. I just see if you're not, like, on board with it and interested in doing it, like, reciprocate. Like, both of you are just like, I think that would be great if we could both just fuck one other person a year and we're <laughs> both on board with that. I, I, I Someone's going to resent somebody. I don't, yeah. I don't see that as a uh what's the word i'm looking for like uh Feasible? yes yeah like i just don't that doesn't seem like doesn't it. seem like it's gonna work yeah it seems like that's like that's like literally like the sometimes the sign of a of a relationship going sour is when you start trying to not always sometimes it is there's a lot of trust and communication between people and everybody's openness and honest um, but other times it's somebody's just bored of having sex with you. Yeah. And that's okay. That's not your fault. <coughs> that's the other person's fault. Yeah. Sex is a dance with two people. Okay. Sex is takes a dance. Two to tango. It does take two to tango. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you, you and that right. obviously means that they're not communicating their needs if they, if they are. But right. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. If you have a problem with it, go with your heart, stick with your heart. No absolutely not but if you're like open to it and you want to do that too or you're just like right if that's care. something that both parties are interested in it's a completely Go different story it. yeah yeah communication though you got to talk about everything and respect each other mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and follow the rules whatever rules in place so they you might have. be um <clears throat> okay let me see okay how do i get oh i have a bunch of these Oh no. But like people are asking how to get over their ex. This one still lives with them. First and foremost, you cannot live with this ex anymore. No, that is um, completely. But, you know, I think like financial. It's financial issues that are exactly. like keeping financial them. constraints force people. I get to have that. To... But also, like, there are creative solutions to every financial constraint that don't involve you living with your ex. I promise. Yeah. And you might have to humble yourself and go live on your parents' couch, and that's okay. And maybe somebody doesn't have their parents' couch. That's also true. Like you, there's you people might like with like, no family or no. That's you true. Know what I mean? But that's true. Um, but there's also people who just don't want to. There is a will. Where like there's me, a will, I was that person. Yeah. Yeah. Like I held on to the last minute 
trying not to like humble myself and go live on my parents' couch after a breakup, but I yeah. had to. Yeah. I fucking had to. Yeah. But don't so, live with your fucking ex. So yeah. the question was how to get over your ex while over, you're still yeah. living with them. But I think in general, impossible. how to get over your ex. Yeah. Impossible. <laughs> impossible. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, you can't do that. But um, yeah, what were you going to say in, this, in the case that... Like in... Let's just... Let's just broaden the question. How do you get over an ex? <clears throat> I, I would start going out with other people. Personally? That's the- I That's don't me, think you ever really do get over one until you're over it. Like, yeah, until it, you're just like, oh, I don't want to really hear from you any luck. Like, exactly. Care. There is a time, there comes a time where you are just over it. And sometimes it does take like meeting another person mm-hmm. because I, I, I wasn't like, well, sometimes it's up. just nice to be reminded that you are valued as yeah. a woman outside of this home because if you're broken up there's obviously something not great there you're not feeling you might not be feeling great about yourself yeah i'm not saying you have to go out and like sleep with a bunch of people but like go out and like meet people yeah it feels good to be dates yeah to feel wanted for sure Mm -hmm. and like find a way to emotionally check out (laughs) but that's what i'm saying like you can't emotionally check out until you're emotionally checked out yes there's like, like there's like a moment where you're just like Yes. No, this is ah. But then you have to live with somebody while you're emotionally checked out. That's just tough, dude. And that situation is always going to be easier for one person than it is for the other. Like when you're living with your ex. Mm -hmm. Because someone is more over it than the other person, whoever that is. Yes, 10 times out of 10. There's always somebody who's just like willing to keep trudging along in that Mm -hmm. while you're both miserable it doesn't make sense no oh that's such a tough situation because i've it is tough though never been in that where you know what actually though when i was living in my apartment in rancho when i was with from yes you were in a tough breakup yes and it was my apartment it wasn't his place it was my place he didn't pay anything no bills no rent no nothing but when I told him to leave, he was like, no, I'm squatters not Squatter's rights, bro. Yes. Fucking dusty. Squatter's rights. Oh my dusty. God. So he was like, you basically, and I don't know if it's a federal or just a state of California law that if you live somewhere for 30 days, you have to, even if you didn't pay for anything and your name's not on a lease or anything, you have to be given 30 days notice before you have to move out. Yes. So this guy's like- I'm fucking invoking the 30 days. And I'm not proud to say that I hit him after that. <laughs> I'm proud. <laughs> I mean, I, domestic violence is never okay. I know. And I've never hit anybody. Situation. Yeah, dude. I never hit anyone before that. And I haven't ever hit anyone after that. Like, but- that was just such a dusty, slimy oh God, like, fucking move. Exactly. Like, you don't even fucking go here. Yes. Literally, like, you don't. Out of the kindness of my heart, I let you stay. Yeah. And now this, yeah, that deserves a slap. Yes, it does. And it was that open hand. Yeah. It was yeah. open hand. But that's um, deep. yeah, that's a really tough situation. I seriously yeah. like it. Sucks. It sucks when you're in a relationship with somebody and you uh, things don't work out, but you have these other attachments, like mm-hmm. a place to live, or maybe a yeah. pet, or yeah, something else like that. I didn't really know what I was going to do when I got single on my four year single stint. And I ended up moving up with yeah, yeah. Satan reincarnated. <laughs> so, like, Sorry. be careful out there, guys. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> that is true because in those situations, like, you need help. Like, you need help and you're vulnerable. Yeah. And somebody who is maybe has little, weird intentions looks at that and take, says <laughs> could take advantage of that exactly yes. so uh, i don't think we really offered any fucking good advice there but hey shitty no. situation well, we said i said go out go out <clears throat> yes. with people go on meet dates. people yes for sure you can find because then you can find a new place to spend and, time and if you do have friends and family focus on those relationships in your life yes focus on your friends and family that's yeah. a good one joy a good yeah. one because that's something that i did i was celibate for a long time and yeah. i only like Not i was like i'm just hanging on- out with 
men yeah that's it no i was like i don't care about anything intimate right now I yeah just... and you were working you were working your ass off during that time too it was yeah she i was mean how could you done. not yeah uh like, what the fuck else am i gonna do the fuck <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah let me let me oh one. it's your turn right yeah i think it's your so turn. um dang i should have like i didn't want to go through these and like uh mess myself up you know what i mean before we started, I feel like I maybe uh, should have gone through them and picked out the good ones. Well, that's okay if it takes a, a couple of seconds. I can just sit here and sing to people. Um, okay. What's a good song? Uh, you make me feel mighty real. Okay. I, I, I wasn't you sure what one that was. You make me feel mighty real. Um. When you and you okay i think i picked it um an okay one it just says advice Gorgeous. on making yourself happy <laughs> joy do you have it figured out because uh. i'm depressed <laughs> I'm like on the edge, bro. I'm not the one to. Do I look happy? People are like you're glowing. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> where? Not that face. No, I'm uh. definitely in a much healthier mental place than I was um yeah. a couple years ago. I'm definitely doing a lot better there. Um, but it's just it's a daily it's a daily waltz, sweetheart. It's a daily waltz. It's not like clear cut to your uh, it's like i have the fucking key it's um i have some bad really bad mental health days but i think it's a i think it's okay to lean into those days and have those days as long as you can really like lean into the good days and really appreciate them and like i don't know it's hard yeah, to explain I, I agree with that i think like we wouldn't be human if we didn't have bad days yeah but try not to let your day like one bad day turn into a bad week like really yeah. just and i think let, even to reduce that you could you could say don't let one bad situation turn into a yeah. bad day you know don't let a bad moment ruin your day like but yeah. uh, bad days are gonna happen it's inevitable sometimes like things avalanche and bad thing after <sighs> bad thing and the bad thing happens and it's just not your if fault, there's one just... thing about life that shit is gonna fucking avalanche on you at yeah. some point she'll get you yeah she'll fucking humble you in a day yeah but um, I think just focusing on not letting a bad moment ruin your day is really good. And that and how to do that, <laughs> that's the fucking hard part. Yeah. I <laughs> Because I, I have a bad attitude and I'm very good at feeling hurt and sorry for myself. <laughs> very good. Like, I'm very really. good at that. Ah, uh, yeah. I also catch myself being, I, it almost makes me feel kind of bratty when i i like you feel like you kind of like i'm i'm like I'll, I'll be pouting yeah and i feel like a yeah. child but i also am like but i'm like but I, something I'm upset hurt. me exactly yes. like just upset <laughs> me so that's really hard but i think we also like it's not always easy to figure out what things m help you enhance your mood yeah. but I think it's when you do figure something out like that, that, you know, helps you just you you, gain a little you know bit of I, energy. Make note of those things. I did do some research a long, long time ago. I worked in an office and I had to do like a morning presentation about like, cause you know, I was that bitch in that office. Mm -hmm. Like they listened to me anyways. It takes 90 seconds to like let an emotion leave your body okay. so like you, you for like when you feel something you initially feel anger or something yeah like you can catch that and just kind of focus on i don't know other things like process think outside of anger mm -hmm. really say like i'm not going to feel angry right now i'm not going to feel then for 90 seconds you might be able to get past that emotion yeah that's interesting yeah i've never heard that so. before I looked this up a long time ago. I don't know if the research has changed, but that is what I read. That's it takes like... 90 seconds to process an emotion. Yeah. 
or to like to like yes. engage with it. Yes, yes. And so if you choose not to, to engage on. with it, you can move on from it. Wow. Yeah. And with that mind blow, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> BRB guys. All right, all right. What's uh, next? Uh, um, all right, you did the last one. Yeah, I think so. It's just your turn. Okay, 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 okay. Um. Okay. How do I handle a trainer at work that has very little patience for me? Well, first of all, it sounds like that person doesn't like you and that's not your fault. That's their problem. Because if you have very little patience, well, I mean, are they, are they, first let's evaluate the situation. Are they very, are they impatient with you or with everybody? Is Mm -hmm. it just specifically a you thing? Because Mm -hmm. if that's the case, I would just ask to be put with somebody else. Mm -hmm. Hopefully there's somebody else in the building that can train you. And I would just say like, look, I've noticed that so-and-so is very um, impatient with me and she has... They have every right to feel that way. Um, it makes me feel like maybe they don't like me very much. And I just feel a little bit more comfortable working with somebody else. I think that's a great way to put it because I, that's, initially when you read the question, I'm like, there's nothing that you can do about that. If you if no. you notice that this person is continuously impatient with you and, and like, like nobody you said, else. It, exactly and they get but if that's just their personality that's just you're just gonna have to take it on your chin and and that's their personality they're just kind of a bitch you know but you don't need to take that personally yeah but also i mean that person also doesn't just should get probably shouldn't be a trainer yeah (laughs) like Like, maybe somebody needs to hear about that like if you can't like you if you don't work well in teams and you don't work well in teams and you don't need to be but you feel like if you feel like it's directed at you, which it's kind of sounds like you do. Um, yeah, I would request to be put with somebody else. Maybe yeah, if possible personality, but just, just like, don't but yeah, just well. don't even say like, I don't like them or this or that, but yeah, just be like, I don't, maybe our personalities don't mesh well. I'm just yeah. feeling a little uncomfortable because I don't think this person likes me. And I just, and know. I think I would thrive much better in another, <laughs> yes. uh, <laughs> Yes. Environment. But I, yeah, I do know the fear of sounding like problematic when you first start a job or you're like being trained by someone. I know that's tough to like yeah, stick for up for sure. yourself, but you have every right to stick up for yourself. Especially when it's going to make the situation better for everyone. Like, yeah. if you're like, this person doesn't fucking like me and but it's you're making not, yeah. me not like them. So yeah. it just doesn't you're make not... sense. Go ahead. What? I was going to say, what you're not going to do is change anything about yourself, though. Yeah. Don't like change yourself to make yourself less annoying to this person. They can suck a dick. Mm hmm. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them right up the butt. Oh my god, someone said name my baby. <laughs> Should we? Is it is it a girl or a boy? Do we know? No. Let's give him two options. Either boy or girl. Let's give him an option. Wait, tell me why I saw a, I saw a TikTok. It was that guy who does that ultra conservative Christian radio personality. Do you know who I'm talking about? No. Oh, oh wait, god, is it so he's funny. like a younger guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, well, yes. He's, yes. In this video, he's a pastor, and he's like, I took my family to see Spider-Man No Way Home, the new Spider-Man movie. I took my kids Jackson, Paxton, and Saxton. (laughs) (laughs) That shit had me rolling on the fucking floor. Jackson, Paxton, and Saxton. Um, (laughs) But um, anyway, I I don't, I guess I, I really don't know that we can name a baby. Oh, no, we can name a baby. Okay. We can name a baby. All right. Woman. Woman name. Uh, Cher. <laughs> oh Beyonce. my God. That's such a good one. Like Cher, Beyonce, both excellent choices for your baby's name. Just Cher. Why Cher. Not? Why no last name. Not? Don't put Just the don't, don't put a last name on the birth certificate. Actually make it Cher Cher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's really funny uh uh-uh, yeah. Cher yeah what's yeah, the baby's yeah. name Cher <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that's really funny uh a boy uh, how about for uh, a boy Cher a boy? um is there a way to make it Michael Ringo Jackson Ringo Starr what <laughs> is it wait is there a way to name him Michael Jackson <laughs> Michael middle name Jackson <laughs> no just Michael Jackson first name <laughs> <laughs> maybe yeah, all what? one word michael jackson 
<laughs> With a French accent? Yeah. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh my god. That's so, um, so, okay, if it's a girl, share. If it's a boy, Michael Jackson. Full name. <laughs> like this. Yeah. That's first name. Yes. You can choose whatever middle name oh. and last name you'd like. Uh, that's fine with me. That's funny. All right, great. We did a great baby name. Yeah. Okay, so I have like three questions that are basically the same. It says <clears throat> when to cut someone off versus when to give them another chance. What's the final straw? And someone said getting over f- old friendships. And someone else said advice on toxic friendships, how to end that shit. So all kind of yeah. tied together. Um, when to cut someone off? Whenever the fuck you feel like it. Like, yeah, what do you that's mean? what I was gonna say. I think like you really, really know. Like you know when, when you're over it. You know, yes. or when someone has either crossed a line, crossed a you know a, a very line defined line, like or like. Or, it, it, go ahead. Yes. Go. Or went all the way through and did something really fucked up exactly like put their hands on you if if anyone is putting their hands on you at all ever no yes that's <laughs> definitely no. that's definitely a way too far yeah as soon but as like i yeah. think with friends i think it's harder to tell sometimes and we also live in this time where everyone's like you know, look out for yourself, like mm-hmm. self love, but in yeah, the form of self-care. like, I don't give a fuck like, about yeah, anyone else. Exactly. Yeah. So, like, we live in a very individualistic fucking society. And so I think sometimes people will frame things. And, like, there is a lot of that, obviously, to be um, a lot of that is useful because, like, we do need to prioritize ourselves and, like, it's healthy to put yourself first, but I think there's also people who like, you know, use that as a, a as way a to mechanism. absolve themselves of yes. the responsibilities of having a relationship with someone. Yeah. So any, Very any that. sort of relationship. Um, but like, how do you, how do you cut off a toxic friendship? I mean, I moved so much as a kid that I just don't have a hard time like just distancing myself from people just talking to them less yeah engaging with them less like i'm not like a big like i'm not good at like being confrontational being like i'm not gonna spend time with you anymore this is why Mm -hmm. i'm like i make a decision in my head and then i'm just like really really flaky until they stop hitting me up that's more (laughs) that's also how i deal with things and i don't know if that's the best way to deal with things probably not it's not I feel like if you've wronged me in so many ways that I feel like I have to cut you out of my life, like maybe you don't deserve an explanation. Like you should probably yeah. know. Cause like, I'm not like, it's hard to like push me that far. Like I'm, I don't get involved with a lot yeah. of people. So it's like, if you really pushed me there, you pushed me there. And that means like, yes, you're not totally. a good person. <laughs> Cause I I'm, agree. Not, I, I'm not like sitting here like, I'm a great person, but if I don't fuck with you, it was for a good reason. Well, if you made it, into my inner circle and then yes exactly like, exactly that's because yeah i am i feel the same way it's it's also very easy for me to distance myself from people and just yeah. not yeah i'm just not gonna hit you up respond to, to things them. Yeah, yeah exactly so like f- but friend ghosting yeah but like yeah it's i mean as we get older too like there's just not like meaningful friendships are very 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 hard to come by so yes they are literally like a couple of them (laughs) and i don't even feel like thinking about it like it's been years since i was involved in anything that i would consider a toxic friendship yeah like it's been like four years Mm -hmm. for me i would say Mm -hmm. so i it's like i think as you though i think that i don't know i was gonna say i feel like that might be uh you know younger 20s like i think it's a personality it could be but it also is like some people who are just like used to toxic environments yes sometimes don't really know anything else they don't really know what like 
they've never experienced what real friendship should be like yeah and so they think that how they're being treated is an appropriate and okay thing yeah it's not yeah but yeah i just distance myself like i don't have any problem and if they, if they, if they call you out and they want to talk about it then then let them know but it's also hard like okay what about those people that are like not like okay the people who trauma dump on you Mm -hmm. who like don't do you know what i mean yeah like people who constantly call you with their problems and don't like ask if you have the capacity to listen to their problems that's a toxic trait that like is. that is that can ruin your relationship with someone. Yeah. But that's also not like they're not like, you know. They're not being a bad person. Exactly. Exactly. They're just they're... not really being considerate of mm-hmm. the fact that I care about you and so when you dump these things on me, I'm involved it emotionally. Hurts. Yeah, you know? yeah, totally. Like if I didn't so... give a shit about you, like who cares? But mm-hmm. if you're my friend, like obviously that means something to me, so like just tr- like make sure i'm ready for it yeah <laughs> damn like shit but i was just using that as an example of things that people do that like they don't really realize is are toxic hurtful or yeah, yeah exactly so i um, guess it really kind of depends on what it is you know it just yeah. kind of depends on what this person is doing and how you yeah. should address it because i feel like toxic people always want an answer they're gonna be like why are you doing this so you're probably just gonna have to tell them be like look a b c d this is how I feel and thank you. Good night. And I wouldn't do yeah. it over the phone. I would just text them and then block them. Yeah. <laughs> no, Cause I don't even want to give you a chance to respond and try to change my mind. Good day. Screaming into the oblivion. Yeah. Fuck you. Good day. Yeah. Good fucking day. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. Um, never. Somebody said, um, how can I get all my friends to hang out in a group together? Helps. I mean, I don't think, I mean, that can be tough if you hang out with lots of different kinds of people. Yeah, people that are into different things. Yeah, or like Like, that don't necessarily like, maybe there's like a weird tension between groups because they're like, we like her more. We like her more. Yeah. Yeah. There's always like a weird thing there. Um, But I would just do like a game night. That's how I met all of um, Alicia's other friends, and it was Mm -hmm. fun. And like, games I had a good time are like, all of them. yeah, games are a fun thing that everyone yeah. can do. Yeah, That's have some really drinks, smart. have some games. Yeah. It's really fun. That's actually a really good idea. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, super. That was fucking good advice. First piece on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> right here. You saw it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, okay, let me see if I can find one. Is it? Oh, somebody says, how do I tell my boyfriend I want to date girls? Ha <laughs> ha. Well, if you're Damn. serious, um, I don't, maybe you shouldn't be with your boyfriend. Like, yeah. if you just want to fuck girls, that's something different than dating girls. Yeah. So, if you want to mm-hmm. date girls, I don't think you should be in a relationship anymore. If you want to date, go date girls. Yeah. You know? So, and if you want to be with a woman, go test the waters in that. Like, you obviously yeah. are, if you don't want him involved in that some way. Like, I just, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's okay. Like, I know that some people are in relationships and want to explore their sexuality. And that, and as long as everybody's, like, communicating and on board with that, and, that's yeah. fine. But if you're, like, trying to date people. Yeah, the word date changes things. Yeah. <laughs> it very so. much changes things yeah um, i agree i don't think you should be with your boyfriend but yeah it's such a hard situation like dude can you think about like the people who like are married with children and finally like, experiencing like this sexual awakening well <sighs> what i was gonna say is that maybe they were like closet gay which yeah that's not that's well it's yeah like experiencing a sexual uh, awakening awakening, like, li- awakening like okay learning, yeah yeah okay. so i was like is it brand new or has it always been there or no no it's just an but, awakening yes right like they finally be able to put their feelings into like, they're like oh i get it i'm gay right yes but like this- I, I i can't imagine having to like tell your spouse like the person you you know maybe we're raising a child with like oh yeah i don't even not only do i not want you 
I don't want anybody who looks like you either. Ever again. Yeah, like... <laughs> <laughs> so fucking shout out to all those people. Yeah, you go yeah, into tough stuff. I think stuff. you should... If you... If, if this person is wanting to explore that i think then i think that's an open and honest conversation that you can have with him and if he's not on board with that then maybe he's not the right person for you yeah and maybe you should take some time to explore that yeah before you commit to somebody yeah for sure crushing it yeah crushing it with the advice (laughs) ma'am a dollar (laughs) Um, um, it's raining outside. Aw, it's lovely. I was so enjoying the California, like, cool, amazing fucking weather until it started raining, and I was like, get me out of here. <laughs> it's <laughs> fucking it's cold really and wet. Cold. <laughs> yeah, get me out of here. Um, I did get a couple ones about budgeting. This person said, budgeting, how did y'all start versus now? Any tips on saving money? Uh, my biggest tip on saving money is get an accountability buddy. My mom, I'm lucky enough that I can trust my mother. And um, I have a separate bank account that I don't have access to. I don't know the password for it. I don't, I literally don't even know what bank account it is. And um, my mom transfers my money into that account. Like any money that I'm trying to save, she transfers into that account. And I am not allowed to pull any money from that account unless, like, I give her, like, a good reason. Mm -hmm. And she, like, is on my ass if I haven't put money in there for a while. Like, if I'm just, like, spending, 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 she'll get, like, on me and be like, well, why haven't you put anything in savings? Yeah. And so I think. Wow, yeah. That's, you're lucky for that. Yeah. I am very lucky. Yeah. Uh, Because I know a lot of people don't have that option. Yeah, totally. But. Um. Cause, and yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah, not even I, – I do have a bank account that touches my dad's, but my savings account is not it. Mm-hmm. And so I do sometimes um, – Pull from that baby, don't mm-hmm. you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do. But I do try to – I feel like I, in the last, like, three, four years, like, that's when I started saving in general. I was not saving until then. Like, literally at all, which is not good. I had like maybe like at most a thousand dollars in my bank account at most like at the very most until I was you like, now though yeah um, but I feel like you're good at saving money I am I'm way better now I wasn't until I'm not I, good at saving money to this yeah. day to this day literally to this day <coughs> I'm bad with money I am bad with it. I'm definitely, I'm also the best one in my house, too. Adam sucks at saving money. Yeah. No, I'll buy everything right now. It doesn't matter what it is. I'll take one in every color. (laughs) For no reason. And I also did something on accident the other night. I was trying to buy some, like, hangy dangly lights. And I ended up um, buying, like, eight sets of them when I was only trying to buy four. And then oh I got gosh. like four extra curtains and I'm like, I was drunk or high. And I, what happened? Why did I just, I like went back and I like reordered everything. It didn't make sense. Four extra curtains. And I got, I got like double everything. It was not, it was unnecessary what I did. I'm, so gonna I, I'm like, I do stupid curtains. shit like that. Huh? Yeah. I said, I'm going to steal some of those curtains. Curtains are fucking expensive. Oh no. They're like, you don't want these. I promise you. Wow. They're not like light blocking um, curtains. They're like flimsy little sheer gray ones. Yeah, just some, just something to go. Yeah, just some little sheery shears. Like not even like these are more opaque. They're like really see through. Oh okay. They're not like real <laughs> curtains. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, with all that curtain talk, we'll take a break. We're gonna close the curtain and we'll be right back. <laughs> and right. we're back. We got two more questions. <clears throat> two more questions. What the fuck? I guess it sound like a... Two more questions. <laughs> two more questions. In my day. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> um, two more questions. Joya, why don't you start us off? Um, I... The question I 
Mad <laughs> reserved was. Oh, how do I um get more stoner friends? I don't want to smoke alone. Yes, how do you get so, more stoner um, friends? Okay, I know this is like so well, it sounds so lame to me. I know a lot of people use Facebook, but Facebook groups, although they have gotten a bad rep in the last, you know, <laughs> however long, because they contributed to the January 6th insurrection. <laughs> but um, like there's like Facebook groups everywhere that like my my sister was telling me there's like a stoner moms in Austin, like a stoner moms Facebook oh, group in Austin. Obviously, I'm not a mom. I'm not gonna be in that fucking group. But I was like, you know, when you I should just go mom, in there and be like, haha, I don't hey, have kids. I just yeah, hey, them. I have three dogs. <laughs> um, be like you guys. I, like to I call- totally no. I totally relate. I birthed my three dogs. <laughs> And I can totally not leave them home alone for hours I on end without worrying about them at all. <laughs> it's, um, we're the same. Yeah. But there's like, yeah, there's so many um, Facebook groups and like, I like, there's like multiple just for my neighborhood. So it's like a really like, whatever, I don't want to be in- involved in that. But my point is that there's so many But that's so a really cool, those. like, finding other stoner moms is, like, so important. And it's, like, yes, really hard Yes, especially do. as moms. Yes. yes, for moms. Like, like, finding, like, most moms, like, drink wine and they'll go out mm-hmm. and have, like, a glass of and wine I bet with you, you. I bet you there's a million fucking mo- wine-drinking moms Facebook Wine groups. moms. Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't no. talk to me before I'm it's at my It's wine mom. o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but so yeah, not I, bad. I think but, that those are like a pretty cool um, thing. And then also like there's friend apps. Yes. Oh my gosh, dude. My friend Alexis actually used that Bumble BFF app and mm-hmm. met a couple like cool girls. I haven't, I don't yeah. know if I could, I haven't brought myself to be able to do that yet, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Dating apps, friendship apps. I don't know. I'm so intimidated by them, but. But yeah, she met a couple like cool girls that she's still friends with um, through there. So like, yeah, that so. would be a situation where you do have to sift through some weirdos like we were talking about earlier. Um, oh, our, but... our, our producer just said she found a stoner friend because of WeTube. I love that for That's her. That's gorgeous. The internet, an amazing place linking people together. Go find your yeah. stoner friends on WeTube, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Do you know what people will do sometimes too? Like. Uh, like comment on like one of our Instagram posts and be like, yeah. "Hey, I live here." Mm-hmm. And people I'm have made friends in my comments before. Yeah, totally. But so, um, if you're looking for specifically stoner friends, it might not be bad to try one of the apps. Yeah, because you can just say like, "Looking for a chill friend to smoke with." Yep, totally. <clears throat> Good vibes. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that is that's a good um that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. One more. Last okay. one. How do I convince my boyfriend to let me get more dogs? How many dogs do you have, Ryan? I would just Not dump you. him. <sighs> dump him. Get the Dude, dogs. but what if that was me? What if that was me sending it in and I already have three? And I'm like, how do I convince my dog or my boyfriend to let me have more dogs? Well, like, I, I've convinced Rajul to let me get more. The only stipulation is that I need to have land. So I have the green light. I just need land. All right. And that's fair. Because yeah. it's five. Oh, uh, yes. That is absolutely <laughs> fair. A fair request on his. Absolutely a fair request. And that is fair. But I think, I mean, I feel like either. Are we being but- reasonable? Yeah, exactly. If you're being reasonable, I would just present an argument. Be like, look, just fucking bring that motherfucker home. (laughs) Just find a really good dog that's really nice, and that you you don't think your significant other's gonna have a problem with, and just bring that bitch home. Just butter him up. Also, I don't know. He might just be like, he might like, it's over. We're we're dumping. We're breaking up now. If a dog breaks you up, then you didn't. Why were you together? Exactly. (laughs) And now you have a dog to comfort you. Another Mm -hmm. dog. Period. But uh, yeah, I think like name it after his brother. What'd you say? <laughs> Said name the dog after his brother. <laughs> Just be super weird. He'll be like, what's the dog's name? Oh, it's Brad. Like my brother. Yes, yeah. After your brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're talking now. <laughs> he's he's 47, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I think either your significant other is on the same page with you with pets or not. 
Yeah. Because I can't imagine. But like, yeah. So like, are we being reasonable? Because if you already have three dogs like me and you're trying to get more, then I'd have that to be like. That might be reasonable. Exactly. Exactly. But it's like but, you only have one and you just want another yeah. one. Yeah. Fucking just go get it and bring it home, dude. Just, just go bring get it one. home. Just go. <laughs> go. Go to your local shelter. Find Go a find fucking a dog, cute baby. Get you a senior that. one. Get you a senior one. So then you That's can tell him, like, look, bro, look. Nobody else is gonna adopt this dog. He's on his last, his last days. Yeah. Let me. This love girl him. that I follow that lives here has two senior adopted two senior dogs. One a, a long time ago, and one just recently, and they look very similar. Aww. And it's really funny. They're both really old. Like. Can't see well, kind of. Yeah, yeah, just, just old like as fuck, not... living their best life. Though, yeah, exactly. With just... love. Yeah, like, get you like a nice nine-year-old dog. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh my a god, senior dog. If they're seven years old, they're considered senior. Yeah, that teaches a senior. Sense. Oh my god, that means Frankie is gonna be next year. Look at him. Look at I, him. Adam. Look Adam said the other day face. he was like, "What." Oh, boy! <laughs> he said, "What the fuck?" Oh, what you saying, Adam? That he said, um, "What if Cash was actually like ten years old and they just like misread his age or something?" No, they don't know. I started crying. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "If I only have fucking like four years left with that dog, he's I will not literally." 10. He's way too. I know to be ten. Uh, yes, he's definitely young. like a young dog. But I like yeah. literally started crying thinking about that. Like, oh my fucking god, if my time got cut off before it was supposed to, that's I not would. fair. That's wrong, and I'm going to sue. Yeah, you sue the vet. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, I sue the fucking Los Angeles County fucking. Whatever. Humane society. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, go get I mean, another dog. Yeah, get a fucking dog, bro. Get yeah. Dog. Just get, go get the dog. dog. If it's you have one, go get another dog. If you have two, I guess maybe there is a little more of a conversation to be had yes. there. Two three is definitely different than two, but two is two is yeah. different than one. Yeah. Get a dog. So just go get it. But you have to adopt it. No, no spending money yes. on it. Oh my god. Nobody listening to this podcast right now better ever even consider buying a fucking bread puppy. There's no need for it. There's no, literally no really, point. If you want a specific breed dog, guess what? Shelters are overflowing with that exact breed. Exactly. <laughs> Just wait. Just be patient. If you really, really want one specific breed dog, if you be patient. It. Check every day. Every day. And you will no, find, you'll it find them. Eventually. There were Dalmatians in that bitch. Oh my god! Adopt, people adopt Dalmatians, but they're terrible with kids. And then when they they bite their kids, they drop them off at the shelter. Oh, I've never heard that before. I didn't mm-hmm. know Dalmatians aren't good. Dalmatians with kids. are bad with kids. Wow. Bad with kids. Yeah. I mean, I've never heard that before. Mm-hmm. So um, when when 101 Dalmatians came out, they oh everyone ad- wanted a Dalmatian, mm-hmm. and they're terrible with kids. They are gorgeous looking dogs. Mm-hmm. I'll give them that, but. Wow, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Good to yeah. know. Pugs, the pugs more can't you know. even. Yeah, pugs can't even fucking breathe. Let's stop breeding them. French bulldogs can't, can't fucking, fucking breathe. breathe. Like, stop breeding them. They, they literally like they struggle to <laughs> the breathe English every English bulldogs day. too. Like all the stop freaking. It. Stop it. Let them have some elongated snouts. That was a deformity that we were like, <laughs> yeah. Great. Oh, he looks so cute. His face is squished. And he can't Great. breathe. And he goes. It's, <sighs> he, he literally struggles to breathe and cool himself like, they're off. They're like, oh, it sounds like a pig. Breathe. Yeah. It's sad. Your dog is in agony. Your dog is in agony. <laughs> oh, my God. Honestly, fuck that. Fuck dog uh, but I hope everybody enjoyed the advice episode. If you want us to do this again, let us know in the comments. Uh, yes. We'll take a looksy looks. Um, but everyone who sent in a question, thank you so fucking much. We are happy to grace you with our advice any day of the week. Oh yeah. (coughs) Any Any fucking day. What are you going to do with the rest of your day? I actually have to go walk through my final walkthrough in my house and make sure everything's all good. Yeah. When we went, we had to do our, we, you mark everything with the blue tape. Like you go in and mark everything. And, uh, 
there was a lot of stuff like paint chips, oh, dang. Paint scratches. Yeah. Which is like to be expected. That's why they make you do that. But um, when I go today, everything should be fixed. So we'll see. Yep. Go on TikTok you- and look up the TikToks that they do for like home walkthroughs because they give you a bunch of tips to find out if they like made something flimsy or shitty so i did i went in with a checklist on the last one you have to like check all the faucets check all the cabinets check all the there's the- even stuff like on the outside like they might have insulated it poorly and there's like easy ways to find out good thing though the best thing is that everything's under warranty for a whole year like everything in the entire house is under warranty for a year and then all the important stuff is under warranty for like I think the foundation is like at least 10 years. Oh, okay, good, good, good. So this, good. yeah. Um, but what are you doing with the rest of your day? I don't know. I wanted to do something cute with Rajul, but it's raining. Uh, I know. Rain puts a I was like, on I'm, everything. I wanted to go on a picnic where, where we went. Yeah. I was going to repeat the picnic, but I can't. We'll see what time the rain's going to stop. That might be fun still. It's going to be wet and cold and sad. And Muddy. Beach. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be and gray. gross. Yeah, it's okay. not going to be cute. Um, oh, but well. we love you guys. Thanks for listening. We will yes, see we you do. next fucking week. Thanks for coming. Tiny little baby kisses. Machine gun kisses. <laughs> automatic. Fully automatic kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Thanks for listening.